Here's the story of a grey-haired lady. Hello, welcome to The Change Guru. This is a place where we have a weekly conversation about all things midlife, and this is a special edition of my grey hair adventure, where for the last year and a month or two, I'm kind of losing track. I've been chronicling my adventure as I've stopped dyeing my hair and just letting it grow out to its natural gray so let us see i really totally have no idea what to do with hats anymore i'm really i think i gotta give up the hats let's see where i'm at hey this is probably gonna look really good um this is where i am <laughs> just coming close my hair will look pretty probably i'll have to tell you i'm going through the crazy cat hair lady stage right now because my favorite hairdresser is off traveling and it's summertime here in Australia, if you're watching this in real time, and it's kind of fun to have long hippie hair. I live at the beach, so I'm actually having fun with it, but it, it does need a cut, but I also wanted to do this video before I get a cut. So here's where I'm at. I'll just come in close. Um, I absolutely love it. In fact, I've gone through this, I'm in this weird stage right now where it feels like so much of a part of me that I don't even think about that I'm going through any transition time. So I'm just wondering if some of you who are out there who have kind of gone through the whole time, do you remember when there was a time where you're like, oh, I don't even think about this gray hair anymore. It's not really an issue for me. That's, that's, definitely, that's definitely where I'm at. So look, it took about a year to get to that place, but I, I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly love it. And um, in some lights, it's really strong. The other day I was trying on bikinis and the light wasn't that flattering for my body, I must say, but for my hair, it was like amazing. The silver looked really, really cool. So I'm absolutely loving it. The condition of my hair feels so wonderful right now. I just, I think that the dyed bits that have not had any extra dye put on them, they feel so good. The gray that's coming in feels fabulous. It feels so, so, so good. But um, today I wanted to address the idea of what happens if people in our lives don't like the idea. They don't think it's a good idea at all of us um, going gray. And I've gotten so many emails about uh, you know, my husband or my partner does not want me to do the gray hair thing. My kids don't want me to do it. My colleagues, my best friends are kind of eh, eh, eh. And so I've got some personal stuff to say about that. You might remember when I first started doing these videos, my hairdresser, who was a great hairdresser, totally freaked out when I told him that I wanted to grow my hair out gray. And I went and I sat down to tell my hairdresser, I'm just gonna get a cut, I'm not gonna get a color. He completely freaked out. He told me that my hair was gonna look like shit, that I was gonna come back in three months time crying, crying, begging him to fix it because it just looked so terrible that the silvers were gonna grow out just completely crazy and that even though he thinks the dye is so toxic and so terrible that I, I just have no idea what I'm talking about. So guess who I ran into the other day? That's right, my hairdresser. It had been a year since I kind of left him for good and we were in a situation where we had to talk and I knew I'd have to say, hey, what about the hair? So I said to him, so after we did our small talk, I said, so um, what do you think about the hair? Do you remember that you told me it was gonna look like crap? And he said, I have to admit, it looks so cool. And you know, it, it wasn't a case of na 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 na. I didn't feel that way at all because one thing that's really super important, whether you're doing the gray hair thing or whether you're doing anything in life that is going to be something that maybe people don't understand. And it's that my, from the very beginning, my certainty about what I'm doing always exceeded my own doubts and anyone else's doubt about it. So that's the first thing that I do want to say is your certainty about what you're doing must exceed anybody, anybody's doubt. The other thing is, is that, you know, we can only do the best, we do the best with what we know at the time. And a lot of us who are interested in growing our hair out gray or actually going through it have done so much research. We've really spent time 
really finding out what this is all about, getting role models who re we really gravitate to. But for other people that when we tell them we're going to do this, they've just never even heard of it. You know, to, them, to say to them, um, there's this cool lady, Cindy Joseph, could be the same thing as, you know, saying there's this cool lady named Cindy Brady. It really just means nothing. So it's, we only do the best with what we can. And I like the idea of taking that lesson as a mirror. How many things do I do in my life that maybe I make a judgment on, but I really don't understand. The coolest thing about uh, having this kind of time with my hairdresser that has, is, has value outside the gray hair adventure is the power of completion. When we have loose ends in our lives, they kind of act like a little bit of, of a drain. It felt really healing and really heartening to connect with each other. I don't know what it was like for him, but for me, it was like, oh, it, it feels complete. It's really nice that I was able to have this kind of conversation um, with him. And think about how many other times in our lives, you know, perhaps some a, a relationship ends on kind of a strange, a strange note that maybe you could have done better on. Could be an awesome time to just, you know, just to take some ownership to stand up and to lose your pride and to have some completion with it. Okay, so that is my gray hair adventure. I think the next time I do this, uh, quite a bit of this, the, my, this hairdresser, he said he was gonna look bad. He gave me some advice. He thinks it's gonna take about two or three cuts before I'm 100% over my dyed hair. And you know, I may, may, may even go back to him. He really cut hair fantastically, and I feel like, okay, we've gone through the circle, and maybe it would be fun to work together again. We'll see. So I'd love to hear from you. How have you dealt with people who are not crazy about the whole gray hair thing? How did you deal with it? Can you post your comments below and share them with me and with our community? Because how you deal with it can really help serve others that are going through the same thing. Okay, so that is my gray hair adventure. I absolutely love it. One of the best um, physical decisions I've ever made in my life whole life still evolving but i think i'm gonna to that i can see the light at the end of the tunnel all right um thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate it until the next gray hair adventure take care and i'll see you soon And that's the way I'm becoming a gray-haired lady. Ba -ba 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 -ba